Everyone asks me, since I can get a Gmail account for free, why would I want to even pay for a Google Workspace account for my business? What is even included in Google Workspace anyway? Do you recommend it? Yes. The biggest reasons to spend a little money on Google Workspace are so your email account is connected with your domain name and you appear more professional so that you have 90% of the tools you need to run your business all in one system so that you can build your business on a foundation, including all communication tools, basic office tools, CRM features, client and team scheduling, credit card payment, marketing, YouTube, a classroom and more. And Google Workspace can integrate with all the rest of your systems as your business grows. Most people know these three core Google apps that I teach in my beginning core Google apps class, Gmail, Drive, and Calendar. Some people also know about Docs, Sheets, and Slides, Photos, Tasks, and Meet. And I teach the intermediate level skills in all of those in my Google productivity class including more advanced items in Gmail, Drive, and Calendar. I teach the skills that business owners need to know in order to work effectively in those apps. But Google Workspace actually comes with all of these apps and more. I know, it's a lot. Today, I will explain each group of apps and how they work together to help you run your business. Be sure to watch my videos on each separate app as they become available. If you're not sure if you've set up your Google Workspace account correctly, grab my DIY Google Workspace setup checklist to ensure you have created a solid foundation for your business. And for those of you who have not yet purchased your Google Workspace, there's a special bonus inside the checklist, so check it out. Today's question is, what is included in Google Workspace? I'm going to take you through each group of apps one at a time and show you how they work together to help you run your business. The first step is to buy a domain name. We recommend doing this through Squarespace. Then we purchase your Google Workspace account together so you can get a discount. Then we show you around your admin panel, which is like your own personal IT department for your business. And then if you'd like a separate Google Voice number for your business, which also includes texting, then we can add that on as an additional cost, but still everything is under $25 a month. So that is the first step to buy and set up your Google Workspace account. Next, you probably have used these four core Google apps before. Chrome is to help keep your personal and work accounts separate and save passwords and tabs that you use regularly. Gmail is your email communication system and is connected with these other apps in various ways and they all work together like an ecosystem. In Google Calendar, you can add events for yourself, your team members, your clients, and more. And if you purchase Google Standard Workspace, then you can also have your clients schedule themselves and pay through Stripe. Lastly, we have Google Drive, which can house all sorts of files, not just Google files, and can be the main hub for all of your business files. Next, we go to the basic tools that are within your Google Drive. Docs is for word processing. Sheets are spreadsheets. Slides are for presentations, either uh, in public or on your website, or just making things look nice. And Google Forms is crucial for a business. You need a contact form, you need a client agreement to be signed, and you probably want some feedback from your clients and maybe even a timesheet from any contractors or employees. All of those things can be done in Google Forms, which you get for free in your Google Drive. These basic tools are what you need to start your business. Now we can move on to some more advanced things once you have all that set up. Connecting with other people outside of your business is crucial. So contacts helps you keep track of everybody that you are in communication with, and you can add labels to make sure that you know who they are and why they're contacting you. 
We talked about Google Voice, but it can also do texting. So if you have them in your contacts, you can call them or text them. Google Meet is like Zoom and is free with your Google account. So you can schedule online meetings with clients, do assessments, team meetings, and more. Google Chat is another option, but is best used with, within your Google Workspace or only people that have Google Chat. And of course, all of these things can connect with your Gmail and your calendar. So when you add an event on your calendar, you can email people directly from there and you can add a Google Meet directly to that. This is all one big system. Next is marketing, which of course we need to use email for that as well. So we left our Gmail up, but once you get most of your things straightened out, you would like to have a Google business profile so that people searching the internet can find you. So again, we need to talk about SEO and putting yourself out there and all of your information for your business. And I can help you set up your Google business profile. Google sites is an option for your website. You can make it in your Google drive and housed for free. And it's a great place to start when you're starting out in your business. If you think you're going to want to use Google ads, then I recommend maybe using a different system that connects better with Google ads. We can talk about that and that'll be a whole nother video. YouTube and Google are the same company. So if you have a Google workspace account, you automatically have a YouTube account. You don't have a channel. That's a whole nother setup but you do have a YouTube account and we can definitely get you on the right path if you'd like to use YouTube in your marketing. In addition to your Google business profile, website, YouTube channel, and Google ads, if you use the Google business standard plan, you can actually create newsletters, email blasts, and email templates within your Gmail account to send to your contact lists. Using the multi-send mail merge feature, each contact gets a personalized email with an unsubscribe button so your emails comply with business email standards. You can definitely have a whole mini marketing system before you spend money on the next level up. And you get all these other Google apps that help keep you organized. We'll talk about those in another video. First, we need to buy and set up your system. We need to set up your core Google apps, your Chrome, Gmail, Calendar, and Drive so that you can use it and will customize it to your business. You need to know how to use the basic tools, docs, sheets, slides, and forms. Then we can start reaching out to contacts using various methods and marketing your business so that you can be found and succeed. All of these things come with your Google Workspace account and I am here to help walk you through it and get you set up. If you are ready to set up your Google Workspace, either grab my DIY checklist or contact me so I can complete the setup for you. If you want all of the tips and tricks on how to make you a more efficient Google user, register for one of my online classes or come to a digital organizing workshop. And of course, be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you're notified when new videos are posted. Hit that subscribe button to get notified about more Google tips in the future and help us get to our first 1000 subscribers. If this video was helpful, please like and share this video with other small business owners so they too can become more efficient and empowered with Google solutions and make time and space for what they value most.